welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to show you how to do your taxes there is a free um, app in CRA that you can do your taxes for free so you don't have to pay anybody else um, and then you can just submit it electronically so you don't have to go to any office or mail it so make sure you have your T4 and if you have uh, if you're self-employed as well while you're working then make sure you have your T4A and for those who have RRSP um, contributions Please have your RRSP uh, annual statement with you and then the statement for January, February, and March of this year. So um, I will try, I will do a step by step guide again for this uh, tax filing. So please, before this though, make sure you already opened your CRA account so that uh, you can register for direct deposit so that your um, refund will go straight to your bank account. So today, okay, let's do it. Uh, please subscribe and click the bell button so you'll get more you will be notified of more videos coming from me of anything that will help us in Canada or um, in life. Come on, come on, come on. I forgot to tell you earlier, you also need your notice of assessment from last year, 2018, because uh, there are some informations there that you will be needing to input into your uh, income tax return this year. So please have that, please find that, and if you don't have that in paper, then you can find that in the CRA account. Um, if you are like me who lost my access code, so I cannot ac um, access the full CRA account right now, I just ordered my, I mean, I just requested my CRA code, but whatever you need for the income tax, you can already access it. The rest of the stuff, though, you can't see it, but whatever you need for your um, income, ta income tax right now, you can find it. So let's do this. Go. Doosh. I want to say a quick thank you to those who subscribed and shared my past videos and liked and clicked the bell button. Thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate you appreciating the effort. Um, I'm not earning anything from these videos, but I just really want to help, especially right now when everyone else is looking for help. So this is my tiny contribution. If And if you want to help and if you want to contribute as well to people who are in need, please share this video because I know um, somebody can use this video. So thank you again for those who subscribe. I got 500 subscribers already. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't say thank you enough. Okay, so today I will be filing uh, income tax with just one job. Let's go to enter income tax, personal income tax. Okay, so information's here. So the due date is June 1, 2020. So, after that, you can go here and check. You can please read this information. It is very helpful. But to go straight to filing your taxes, let's um, do the tax software. And then when you are in the tax software, there are more informations here. And we just need this free products and products with pay what you want model. So here are the products. So what I will be showing you today is the Studio Tax for Mac. Because I'm using Mac. And then there are other choices here. iOS, Windows. So today I will be doing the Studio Tax for Macs. And it's for the year 2019. So let's do that. So in here, there are informations here. It says Studio Tax is now certified by both CRA and Revenue Quebec. So um we will find the one that says the link for the Mac version. So here you can have the Mac version, you have the App Store for Android, you have Google Play. So let's go for the Mac version. And we choose 2019 right here. And it should download to your computer. Here, Studio Tax. Opening, opening. Okay, you open... Oh, where did it go? Uh, there in your file. Salikud lang siya. Okay. So, um, I hope you saw that. I, saw, I hope you saw what happened, but yeah, there it is. But if you can't, let's say you can't find this. So, let's just say you don't see this. You go into your, um, here, to your folders and you find this one. And then you just click it. 
and then it will lead you to this and then you get you double click every time so you continue English you read this one Ta -da. then you continue oh agree so I agree um, install so it's 144.5 MB on space of your computer so you go ahead and install so okay okay it's already done so installation is successful so just close it close this one and close this and then you can close this as well it should be on your computer already or your apps so let's find it it's here so I have my 2015 16 17 18 so now 2019 you just double clicked it so important okay okay you just say close to that one now if you're just starting so you create a new return however I have I was already um, in the studio tax last year so I can just press this but um let me i will show you how to do the if you're just doing it for the first time so here uh you can now net file you know, prior year returns so i do not intend to file additional tax year i just want to file my 2019 so i will say no to that one okay then you um do all this information so you get this window again after you click next do this is for a single person so we are not uh, checking this so you're single then you click next no we don't nothing about that there's none okay. nope so you just click next so english no nope so next yes i'm gonna say yes we don't have the cra online my account yet so we are going to uh, skip this for now so let's go next then go finish and now you are here all your your informations will be here which I will be hiding. So here I just scroll down so you won't see the personal information. So let's go start the filing. So first is a T4. So here are the slips that you need for your filing. So let's make this uh, big. So here are the slips for your filing. Um, this is for your RSP. So here you just put in um, you just click this and then say add put in March to to December 1, 2019 and the amount whatever amount you have let's say 1000 and then you should say okay then now it will be there now you go to March so you say add and then January 1 to March 2020 and the amount let's say is 100 say okay and you say okay and then both RSP contributions will then be added to your form. The system will do it on its own. You don't have to do anything. So here, in your RSP deduction limit for 2019, it will be in your last year's notice of assessment. Say you have RSP deduction limit for 2019 is 31,000. And um, if you have an, any unused and you put that here as well, it will be on your notice of assessment as well. In my case, there is zero. And then you just click this maximize so that you can maximize your RSP claim for 2019. And then you just say okay. And that should go into your form um, where it is needed. You don't have to do any, you don't have to find it. You just it will just be reported into your tax uh, tax forms or forms if you need forms. And um, if you need a, uh, additional forms. And then when you're done, you just press the net file. Okay, so let's start T4. Okay, here in your T4, you just fill in the numbers from your T4. So if if um, if you have 
um, an, an amount in line 14, then you you put that in here. And then in your T4, line 22, you have um, income tax deducted. So you input that here. So let's just say, this is just an example. So you want to put in 7.21. So you, set, you type in 7.21 and that's it. You might be surprised here is when you click this column here, you get this screen right here on top and then you just choose which um, province you are in right now. So we are in British Columbia and then we just hit OK and then it will be reflected here. So OK, I will put in anything else. So don't forget to write your employer's name here and you put in all the other information uh, in here. So whatever in your t4 whatever numbers are filled up you just follow that here so if there is um, an amount in number 20 then you write it down here if there is an amount in number 18 you you write it down here and if there's an amount somewhere else then you but don't miss anything from your t4 so whatever is in your t4 you write it down in here after I put in all the information in the T4, you can click in the T1 general and keep scrolling down and you will see how much refund you will get or if you have to pay. In page number 8, you will get the breakdown if whether you're get, getting a refund or if you owe money to the government. So it, you will say here refund or balance owing. You have one job, you don't have RRSP, nothing, so you just go for net file. Yes, you save it. Then you save it there. You close it. Okay, now this will be your last step. Next. If you want installment, then you say installment for paying back your taxes. But if you don't want installment, you just say no. If, then you set up your direct deposit. Then you go next. Okay, you read all that. Please read all these restrictions and then after you read all, all those uh, details there, then you click next. Okay. As a taxpayer, do any of the following apply to you say no? And then you can go next. <clears throat> now this part is very important. This is the part where your errors or whatever you missed in your application will be noted. So you have to go back to that part where you missed or you made an error and then your application should go through from there. So you go back to net file and you submit this now. So you just go to next and then no, I don't want any installations. Um, then you should say you've read that. And then no, none of these situations apply to me. So you say no and then you say next. And then here, I did, uh, you say yes because you, don't, you confirm that you did not dispose of your principal residence this year. So and then you go next. And then you, it says, please verify if the amount in box 26 is the same. So it, it is correct. So you say, you go next. And then it was asking you to sign up. So you sign up. However, if you're already, if you don't want to sign up right now, then you just say go. I'm not ready to go paperless yet. So you go or you let's sign up. What's your email? So you next. And then you read this, and then you write up that you agree, and then you go next. Transmit.